Hidden in a world of high-speed, automated volume-produced goods, there's an unusual building where things are made very slowly. Tiny things. Things with parts so small you can barely even see them. Welcome to Vacheron Constantin. But there's a problem. When you've been making watches since 1755, it's not enough to simply make more. There are over two and a half centuries worth of watches out there that need to be kept at their best, no matter what's happened to them. Thankfully, deep within Vacheron Constantin, there's an expert restoration team that can do exactly that. It all starts with the case. Here, a broken crown tube is rebuilt, carefully soldered into place and finished to an exacting tolerance. It's all done by hand, in the same way it was done all those years ago. Refinishing a case is a delicate matter, striking a balance between bringing back the watch's luster and retaining its character. Hand tools are carefully used to selectively restore each piece, with no two watches receiving exactly the same treatment. The restoration team keeps a ready supply of parts for its vintage watches, some more than 250 years old, but it's not always as straightforward as simply fitting them to a watch. Fine adjustments are made to the balance staff, the shaft that runs through the center of the balance wheel to reprofile it for better performance. This is done entirely by hand on the very same equipment watchmakers use to make the watches in the first place. It's painstakingly slow work, but it means the watch will continue to run for many more decades and even centuries. The heat bluing of the hands, which can fade with time, is reintroduced in exactly the same way as it was first applied. This protects the hands from corrosion as well as giving a beautiful blue hue. Even the teeth on each wheel are reprofiled to give better performance to the watch. The adjustments done at the micron level are virtually invisible, but essential for the longevity of the movement. Tiny gauges assist in the reboring of the essential pivot points of the movement, the holes where fresh jewels will be seated. Incredible tolerances are required for a smooth-running, efficient movement, making this process crucial, if once again invisible. But no amount of measuring can replace the feel of the watchmaker. It's how this kind of accuracy was achieved before the advancement of modern machining. In keeping to the watch's history, it's how it's achieved here. One of the most delicate procedures the restoration team undertakes is the replacement of the balance spring. The balance spring is such a sensitive part that it must be tuned exactly to each watch. The balance wheel needs to beat back and forth at exactly the right speed or the watch will keep bad time. This is adjusted by lengthening and shortening the spring itself to get the ideal swing or amplitude for a perfectly timed beat before it is trimmed to the precise length. But it's not over yet. The most meticulous operation is still to be done, fitting the spring to the balance itself. An almost microscopic collar and pin must be fitted by hand, held in place by friction alone. That is the world's tiniest drill you're looking at, preparing the collar to be seated on the spring. Placing it requires skill, patience and dexterity. and it's on. That was the easy bit. Now it's time to thread the pin to keep it in place. 
you can barely see it. Thinner than a human hair, it must fit tightly and securely enough not to come loose. Once it's in, it is carefully pulled into place with tweezers. A delicate touch is required, or it will break, and the work will have to start over. The excess is very carefully trimmed away. One slip and the balance spring will be irreparably damaged. Fine adjustment is made to seat the spring properly around the collar, something only an experienced eye and a trained touch can master. Once the completed spring looks perfect, it can be mounted to the balance itself. It's a pressure fit and an easy task in comparison to what's just been achieved. But make no mistake, this work is still incredibly precise and difficult to accomplish. True mastery of the craft. With the movement fine-tuned for peak performance, it's to the aesthetic the restoration turns next. A Vacheron Constantin movement must be as beautiful as it is technically impressive. Each type of finish requires mastery of a different tool, and all demand immense skill and patience. Only time and practice can yield such precise results on such a tiny scale. But this finishing process wasn't originally applied just for its stunning beauty. It historically served a practical purpose, protecting a movement by removing vulnerabilities like sharp edges that could fragment over time, or in this case by creating channels to capture minute debris that occurs with friction. Modern techniques offer much greater longevity to a movement, but the tradition still lives on, thanks to its jewel-like attraction. It's a proficiency that's becoming increasingly rare, the dedication and ability required to master these skills handed down from person to person. It's a wonder that the ability still exists at all, and without it, many of these exquisite pieces of history would be lost to time. Just like the case, every movement worked on by the team is treated uniquely, sympathetically restored to bring out its best without removing its character. An incredibly careful touch brings life and beauty back to the movement, combining artistry and engineering into a single object. Even though it will be hidden inside the watch, it is still a Vacheron Constantin creation, and it must look its very best. With every component restored to the extremely high standards of the team, it's time for reassembly. This is a bittersweet moment, returning life to a historical watch that will be reunited with its owner, but also saying goodbye to a unique project that demanded the highest levels of expertise possible. Without the incredible talent of the restoration team, it would not be possible to maintain these watches to this extraordinary standard. They are proud to continue the legacy and will forever have their names inscribed on the pages of the legend of Vacheron Constantin. <laughs>